Hello YouTube, this is uh, The Best Mac Tutorials again, and I'm back with another tutorial, two in a night, world record for me, especially considering like six months of inactivity. But whatever, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, port forward on your Quest Q1000 modem. This should work, or at least be very close for other ones like the M1000, um, so just bear with me if you have a slightly different one, it might be a little bit different. But port forwarding, uh, in a nutshell, is basically required for running a lot of different types of servers, like a Minecraft server, or a web server, if you don't use something like Hamachi, of course, which kind of does like a virtual private network, which port forwards through the private network, and it's kind of like a different network layer and everything. But um, I probably just totally butchered that. But anyhow, um, when you port forward, you are forwarding traffic to your external IP address to a certain computer on your network designated by an internal IP address. Now, to find your internal IP address, which you're going to need, you're going to have to type in ifconfig, and your internal is going to be right here. This little inet, it's going to be usually 192.168.0. something. It might also be point, uh, 2. Point something or whatever, but usually it's going to look like that unless you have a lot of devices or you have uh, s different settings for assigning IP addresses or you're using a certain computer that requested a, a certain IP address through your modem. Anyhow, it's usually going to be like this, though. But as you can see, there's a lot of them that you can actually mistake it for. Mine right now is 192.168.0.8 right here, and I'm going to need that, whereas my laptop's 192.168.0.4. My gaming computer is point two point something, don't quite know, and um, my iPhone's like... 192.168.0.3. So anyway, it, it varies a lot with internal IP addresses. Um, but you got to make sure you get the right IP address. Because basically the way IP addresses, internal IP addresses work is if, and this is very simplified and dumbed down, and I probably got part of this wrong, but basically when you send a packet or a request or whatever to Google, so I send a packet to Google saying, hey, I want this, then when Google, then my modem sees, all right, 192.168.0.8 sent this packet to Google, and then they get a response on that same kind of chain right there from that from that packet that was sent from 192.168.0.8 and then the modem gets back a response and says alright great and uh, this is supposed to go to 192.168.0.8 so Google just sees that sending to your external IP address essentially and that's where they send it to and then the modem knows which computer to send it to based on which packet requested the information that's coming back I suppose so Anyway, internal IP addresses are um, they're unique to each computer on your network, at least they should be, unless there's something horribly wrong with your network setup. And uh, to forward something to them, you've got to do a little bit more than just go advanced setup port forwarding. And so I'm going to show you that now. So um, you go to 192.168.0.1 in any web browser, Safari, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Opera, Firefox, whatever you use, CMonkey. <laughs> so um, you're just going to type in... 192.168.0.1, don't have to type any HTTP colon slash slash or anything, just press enter. This page should load. You might have a username and password, and in which case you have to enter that in, it'll do a little, in Safari anyway, it'll do a little pop down here. And you'll just go over to Advanced Setup, and you want to go over to UPnP, which stands for Universal Plug and Play. You want it, oop, what, alright. <laughs> you want to disable UPnP and disable NAT T, NAT tran Network Address Translation. Um, hyphen T, and UPnP, Universal Plug and Play. You want to disable both of those. Those will mess with your port forwarding. You don't want to mess with your port forwarding like that. Um, or else it won't work, usually. So anyway, you'll go back to port forwarding now that you have it disabled. I already had it disabled because I run a Minecraft server and everything, but you'll want to make sure you specifically disable that. Say I wanted to forward port 25565 from Minecraft server. I just deleted my entry here so I could show you guys. And currently I'm running my Minecraft server on a dedicated host anyhow, so that's a whole different story. But um, I used to run on this computer, and I'm probably going to go back to it. A lot easier to manage, and the price isn't exactly optimal. 80 bucks a month, and it's a really good deal. I get 16 gigabytes of RAM, Intel Core i5, it's on 100 megabits per second dedicated line. It's a great deal, but it's it's still pretty expensive for a little Minecraft server with, you know, three people on at its peak in the last couple days. We used to have a lot more, but updates to 1.2.3, and I haven't updated the server yet because Bucket doesn't. Anyhow, starting port, <laughs> I get on tangents. For a Minecraft server, you'll need TCP and UDP. TCP works with... Um, it is more of a guaranteed packet delivery system, and UDP works more on, like, datagrams and whatnot. Uh, maybe in the future I'll do a Java tutorial on networking. I'm still learning that myself, so bear with me if I do do a tutorial on that at some point. It'll probably be very um, uh, basic, 
but uh, it'll get the job done. But anyhow, um, you want TCP and UDP for your Minecraft server. So say you want 25565, so you want to forward that port to your LAN IP address 192.168.0.8, and out here 25565, 25565, and click Apply. And saving this. And then uh, you gotta wait for it to finish saving here, and then do the exact same. Just 25565 UDP this time, and 192.168.0.8, and starting port 25565, 25565, and apply. Oop, click apply. Enter doesn't work for that apparently. And uh, once it forwards your ports, you can double check it with um, uh, can you see me org. If if they can't see you on the specified port, then you need to figure out if something else is blocking it. You can also do a similar thing through application forwarding. I prefer doing it through port forwarding personally, but some people do it through applications forwarding. And they set up an application, set up for Minecraft server or whatnot. I prefer to do it this way. That's just me. And so Safari takes forever to load, and it's probably going to crash. I don't know why this computer is all of a sudden so slow. I will figure that out eventually. All right, here we go. Can you see me? Dot org, enter, and the port, that's not the IP my Minecraft server's on, 25565, enter, and we're waiting, and it could not see me on port 25565. Let's try one of the others that I have forwarded, for example, um, 7777. and it can't see me on this either. Now what I want to point out is it's because you don't have a service running on that port. If I start my Minecraft server up on port 25565, then it has a service bound to that port and it can run, all right? So I was trying to illustrate that you're you're not going to uh, see a port until you have something bound to it that can you see it or can see coming through on that port. So uh, here I have my um, Minecraft server running on 25565 and so just wait for it to load a little bit more, and now it should be able to see me on 25565. I'm just going to wait till it finishes booting. Speaking of which, I uh, tried to update to 1.2.3, like I was saying earlier, and um, I had some issues with residents not working, and so I'm just kind of waiting a little bit more until a release candidate comes out instead of a beta. Anyhow, that should be enough. Let's check. Might not. Let's see though. Yep, and it loaded. Success. And that is because I have a service now running on 25565, which bound to it. If I try to run my, another Minecraft server on 25565, it won't be able to bind the port to take it for itself, so it won't be able to run. So that is something to keep in mind. Um, so that is, I think, all you need to know about port forwarding on a Quest Q1000 modem. I Back when I was first port forwarding so I could make a Minecraft server, I remember having a little bit of difficulty figuring that out, because um, turns out Universal Plug and Play was screwing me up, so I figured I'd make a tutorial because I didn't find any real helpful ones while I was browsing. I just kind of had to <laughs> keep trying things till I got something to work. So anyhow, um, there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments or send a YouTube message or whatever. And remember, you have to bind a service to that port, which I, like, just to illustrate it doesn't work if you don't have that service bound, so you can externally see that port is open. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.